Okay, I just posted about how pesticides are nasty and we shouldn't put them on our grass or our landscaping because it makes the bees drunk and it hurts the butterflies and the kills the dragonflies and it's not good for dogs and it's not good for children and it's not good for life. That's literally the uh, definition of pesticide. That's the whole point. So instead we can do good old fashioned therapeutic um, weeding, which is really fun. It does take time, um, but it's time well spent. They show that uh, time spent gardening is really good for us and in a way that would undo the busyness that we all suffer from. Um, but easier said than done. So what else can you do? You can, some of the weeds, uh, you know, cost like $10 a pound or whatever at the farmer's market. You can eat them, dandelion greens. Uh, you can also get rid of grass, obviously, and do xeriscaping, which is climate appropriate landscaping. There's our beautiful flat irons. It's trying to uh, rain on us. Um, and pretty much anything you do, you can eat a lot of it. I've done two videos on this on youtube.com slash elephant journal. If you look up youtube.com slash elephant journal with Brigitte Mars, I mean, look at this guy. Hopefully there's no pesticides down there, right? You don't want it. Um, so look up Brigitte Mars and you'll love those videos. She's very wise about, you can literally have free salads out of your lawn usually. So get rid of some lawn, but a lot of people rent, which was my friend's good point. And, um, you know, don't have that flexibility. So there's good old fashioned weeding like I did for $5 a hour or whatever when I was a kid. Um, it's probably a good call. And then, uh, for those short on time, maybe sort of like a barn raising, but a weed uh, uh, weed raising. Um, I don't know. I think community and, um, getting rid of some lawn when you have the flexibility to my yard, I let it go wild and, uh, it's returned all kinds of beautiful, naked, naked native, uh, plants, uh, a lot of herbs. They actually do an herb walk through my yard now. Uh, but I own my house or the bank does. Um, so not everyone has that option. I mean, look what he's doing with the grass here. If there's pesticides on that. You know, that's sad. And then, of course, thank you, fueled by flowers. Uh, gardening, uh, making a garden, free food. It's not free, it's labor, but, uh, and then make sure you're buying your seeds. I just point, posted about this on Instagram.com slash Waylon Lewis, and almost nobody cared. But, um, you know, almost all the seed companies have been bought up by Monsanto. Monsanto itself was bought by Bayer. So make sure you're using good local uh or heirloom seeds that are not owned by the man because the man has too much power already and has bought up i think 60 percent of all seed companies now all right there's our little lawn discussion i think i covered everything um but if not um yeah how do you know if the weeds are good safe so i do have two videos with brigitte mars listing a couple um, or a bunch of the things you can eat, but, uh, Brigitte Mars also has an app that describes all the things you can safely eat. Yeah. I wouldn't go nuts there, but generally, um, you know, it's less about it being dangerous and more about it being not yummy, at least in our, you know, urban landscapes like this. All right, folks. Uh, hope you're well and, um, hopefully it's helpful and look at that old post with the uh, ownership of the seed companies. It's in New York Times as well. And buy from Redford and me. Look at these birds way up there. I don't know if you can see them. Way up there.